What day is it? Moving day. We're moving, Melanie. <laughs> we're really excited. Oh, oh, really dark. Still a little dark, but it's fine. We're moving. Want to go get coffee? Yes, I'm really hungry. I want to go now. <laughs> I don't want to wait anymore. Hold on. We're off to get coffee before we get our keys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're gonna get our own place. I even brought this so we can have a dance party when we go to the apartment. You're a genius. I think about things. <laughs> she does. She even is bringing toilet paper in case we have to go to the bathroom, which I never would have thought of. That's genius. Oh man, so good. And you got your water. I got my water because I know I'm gonna be thirsty. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's. We got. We need to. We need to oh. go and get our coffee. My car is filled. Clearly, you can't even see in the back of this vehicle. This is insane. Even next to me, I have a vacuum right next to me. But yeah. We are so excited. That is the big news that we are moving. And what's crazy is that like, we haven't seen the place in person because of everything that's been going on. So we just did a virtual tour. So we know it's legit, but still, it's gonna be interesting seeing it for the first time in person today. I just, wow. I'm so excited. Is it a good burrito? I haven't taken a bite. No. <laughs> She's just cooling down her, ba her burrito because it's too hot. Meanwhile, she called my bagel a bagel. <laughs> I'm so excited. Ayo. Hello. We're moving today. Yeah. So I'm vlogging it. I know. Got to document forever. Well, we moved in. Round one. Round one. <laughs> my sunglasses and I guess I'll show you guys the apartment Melanie do you want to take over the tour sure here's the kitchen Hold on. And grab you. kitchen got this lots of counter space so we yes. can have all the charcuterie boards yes probably put a nice piece of art here mm -hmm. plenty of counter space a fridge <laughs> here's our little this is our living room Yes. Our TV will probably maybe go over here. Oh yeah. And our couches will go probably over here. And a really cool gallery wall. Dining area for food. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much I have to unpack all of this stuff here, as you can see, and figure out where these things are gonna go but yeah pretty much everything is in the house I have my bed and I'm trying to think of what else that I have to bring I have my bed my dresser I have some shelving units in the bathroom and one in my bedroom at the other place I have a clothing rail but I don't need that clothing rail I am just going to unpack as much as I can for the next 30 minutes because I have a drive through birthday party parade that I'm going to. Um, so I need to be like across town <laughs> essentially 
for that. So yeah, we're moved in essentially almost, almost. We're not fully moved in. We have the big stuff, which we're going to move in tomorrow. But yeah, that is all for today. I'll show you guys what it looks like later once everything is kind of unpacked, at least for today. And then we'll wait for the big stuff tomorrow and I'll show you guys all that stuff like once everything is moved in. So the biggest concern is my box spring. I don't know how that's gonna fit via a corner, but we'll see, we'll figure it out together. We ordered Riley Berthos and now we're watching The Great British Bake Off to celebrate the first day of moving. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna get this El Pastor burrito. Do you guys ever get the feeling like when you're making a big life decision that your life is over? <laughs> I felt this way when I like bought my car. I was like excited beforehand and then seeing it i was like okay like let's do this and then i got the car and was driving it and i was like something's gonna happen i'm gonna lose the car and my life is gonna be over like i'm gonna get bad credit and or like they're gonna find out that i actually can't afford the car or i'm gonna lose my job and that's gonna factor into me losing the car that's gonna ruin my credit and then I'm never gonna be able to move anywhere and it was just like a huge spiral and today with moving I was like excited initially and then I saw the place and I got a little bit overwhelmed and was just kind of like panicky and anxious and just like thinking about all the things that could go wrong or like maybe I made a mistake and I'm like, I already signed the lease. I can't back out, all this stuff. Like I just had so many negative thoughts and yeah, it was just, and yeah, it was just kind of <sighs> insanity a little bit. Um, and then I like cleaned the apartment, like my room, my bathroom, um, as much as I could. And then I started feeling a lot better. I was like, okay, this is not bad. Like, this is a good situation. I have a roof over my head. I should be grateful type of thing. But I guess I just like anytime, like a life changing Maybe not a life changing, more like a big decision. And I like think of all the things that can go wrong, and then I'm like, my life is basically over. Because today, my room in the house that I've lived in for four years um, is pretty bare. But yeah, I've lived here for so long. And like, I am going to miss this house because it is a nice house and I got to know this area really well, but now I'm in a completely different area and it's no longer a house that I'm living in. I'm living in a, an apartment, an actual apartment. And I've always wanted, I look crazy, I've always wanted to live in an apartment, so that's like coming true that's gonna happen but yeah I just I wonder if I'm alone in feeling that way in terms of like you're making a big decision and it's causing a lot of change in your life it's going to change all your routines and stuff like that or it's like a big purchase type of thing and then you have instant like regret and like instant like oh my gosh, my life is over. Like, I ruined my life. I made the biggest mistake of my life. Like, I I felt that way when I, like, got my car, and I was just like, oh my gosh. And I think I even felt that way when I, like, went to, like, the school that I went to for grad school, and then 
the school that I went to for undergrad since they were both in Colorado and I'm originally not from Colorado, I'm from Texas. So I'm just like, yeah, it just, it just feels weird. Good morning. It's the big moving day today. I'm still feeling kind of nervous, so scared, but we move in. Yeah, I guess the big feeling is just overwhelmed and worried. I do like my new place. It's just an adjustment. The scarf came off in the middle of the night and my face gets really puffy in the morning. When I wake up, it's 6.25. I should sleep more because the moving truck doesn't get here until 8. Maybe it's also the fact that like so much change has happened with us all going into quarantine and self-isolation and then now I'm moving that like maybe that's the reason why it's just so overwhelming like I was excited for the longest time and then it happened and I just panicked there is no right or wrong way to handle this, but I'm moving. I literally just have my bed and my plants. If you don't know about these, you can buy these at Home Depot for like less than $10. So you can save your bed from getting all dirty when you move. I have like two, so I'm gonna use one for my box spring and one for my mattress. So I thought I would give a update since I haven't checked in with you guys in a minute. So I'm going to show you guys what my room is looking like right now and then we'll go from there. So yeah, this is not looking like the best, but it's progress and it's a lot better. Yeah, I I need to figure this out like cuz this is just not cute. It's just not. So anyways, I, I'm going to head back to the old place now. I'm going to finish cleaning up over there and deliver some stuff. Also perks of traveling with plants in your car, you get all the dirt, so much dirt, <laughs> but it's worth it. They all survived. Just got to make sure they acclimate pretty well, but yeah, I have so much dirt in my car. It's, it's ridiculous. So I'm back at the old house and just finished vacuuming, but yeah, the room is pretty immaculate. I just filled some like really tiny holes um, and I'm going to paint over those. And then I was cleaning the inside of the closet. Um, I'll show you the rest of the house. Oops. Still cleaning the bathroom. And yeah. Just need to take some of those things out, throw them away, donate them. Need to pack all these little things up here. And then gonna bring these cups home. Um, need to pack the rest of my pots. All that's left to do is to get my um, refrigerated and frozen items. This is all mine here, that entire section. Then I have this, that drawer, and then up here. So I have to clean that, clean that, and then I'm going to clean the kitchen. Um, I'm going to clean off the stove, the microwave looks 
filthy, so I'm gonna clean that too. And then I'm gonna fill in and do a little painting here. You can see some discoloration there and fill in some paint here. And then once all that's done, I'll head out. Yeah, just came up to pick up the last stuff. Oh, and my toothbrush. I need to pick my toothbrush up. <laughs> So I just finished cleaning up at the house. It's been about three hours. Um, it's been about three hours of just cleaning, filling holes in the wall, painting, and yeah, and gathering like the last bits of our stuff. And now, I'm going to head home and I have to clean the shower. That's going to be a pain in the butt. But yeah, I need to get something to eat. I'm probably going to stop at Chick-fil-A over here by this house and then I am going to head home. I'm so tired. Like I'm exhausted. Tomorrow I'm I'm just going to rest. I'm not even going to do anything. I'm just going to rest. Because this is just well. I'm so exhausted. All right, I'm gonna get some food and then I'm gonna go home. I'm spending my first night at the new place and yeah, my bed is set. I mean, you guys saw my room from earlier. It's not like perfect. I think the only thing is that I put my coffee table as my nightstand for right now. But honestly, it might just be my permanent nightstand because it's nice and it does the job and we're gonna get like a different coffee table anyway so I might just stick with this one but yeah I'm kind of feeling very settled I am thoroughly exhausted I think one thing that I forgot to several things that I forgot to show I feel like when we first saw the place just because I was just really overwhelmed but also wanted to check things and kind of go through the checklist I went through and tested all of the sockets to make sure that we had like no broken outlets or anything um, Obviously, we did the run through to make sure, like, if there was any damage done. Um, excuse me. We can kind of like get that on the paper. Um, I took a little bit of video of like things that I noticed that were like out of sorts, and then um, I'm gonna take a photo uh, and send it as in an email to myself of everything that we marked and when we signed and dated it just so like we have our own proof but yeah um also the fan is on because I'm a little hot and I'm gonna start putting on my oil But I took a shower, it was a really good shower. I cleaned the bathroom, but yeah, I was over at the other place for like almost three hours. Well, yeah, pretty much three hours. I was there so long, like cleaning, filling holes, painting, um, making sure all that stuff was like set 
because I wanted my full deposit. And now we're officially moved in. I have some stuff left, which I need to text the other roommates about and let them know. I'm trying to think of other things that I did when I was here. I wiped down and cleaned the bathroom when I first got in. I didn't clean the shower. I was going to wait to do that later. I cleaned it just now though, um, like 30 minutes ago, and took a shower. And then I watched the vlog, several vlogs, and ate my Chick-fil-A dinner. Had a market salad with grilled chicken. I needed some vegetables, man. I needed them veggies. And I had a ginger ale. And now I am moisturizing because I like hadn't taken a shower since yesterday, last night. So this is my first shower after like moving all day, cleaning, just being disgusting. I wash my face. Um, I need to wash my hair. I'm gonna do that another day because that's just too much. I can't be bothered. But I think tomorrow I'm just gonna sleep in. I'm gonna rest as much as possible. And then I'm gonna leisurely try to find a Target or Walmart. Um, I know there's a Target like down the road but I want to see if there's a Walmart nearby, maybe. And I want to get some, like, stuff to put down in the drawers so I can, like, cut them and put them down in the drawers in my bathroom. And then I want to... I need to measure under my bed to see if I can fit storage under there. And then if I can, I might go to Target and buy some of that stuff. So I might take you guys with me um, tomorrow and kind of go through that. And then if I can get all that stuff tomorrow, then I can get rid of that dresser. Because, you know, I love Ikea for a lot of things. Like, this table that you guys are on is currently from Ikea. I have, like, a shelving unit over there that's from Ikea. And then I have another shelving unit that is in our living room that's from Ikea. That is fine. I feel like shelving units are very easy to put together. But that drawer, that dresser, was my first ever Ikea, like, thing that I bought. As in, like, build yourself. And I messed up and then I fixed it and I input it but the drawer the drawers just never really went well and the drawers just with the longer that I have them get worse and worse and worse and I'm just at a point where I'm like you know I don't like those drawers I hate that dresser it annoys the heck out of me so yeah, and I also want to get like some cute pillows, but I think tomorrow I'll just focus on getting some stuff to put down in the bathroom so I can like declutter that area and I'll make sure that I record that so you can declutter with me as well as going to Walmart or Target and getting some under bed storage and yeah and if they have it for a decent price then I will buy them and that will be that but I'm going to go to bed now Probably not. I'm going to watch another vlog and then I'm going to go to bed. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm very exhausted. But it's been good.
a new chapter. Wow.